guys. I'm personally thinking I'm coming up here. Yeah, I agree. I am basically. I think wise, you're never going to get that way. Nope, nope. I'm coming this way, and I think. Just square it. I'm going to square it as best I can. I think same line as gas, like basically up and over that stacking to make sure I don't, you know, the drive shaft should go right in the middle there and the diff. If we can keep that nice and straight through there and kind of to the left and then hug it right, I think that's going to be my best yeah, line. Yeah, a good trainee slash dry shaft. Hole Slot. there. Yes, <laughs> yeah. exactly. So that's the goal. Ben's doing a morning confessional here right now. It's 7 o'clock in the morning and we're going rafting. 6.45. We have one truck through. We got three more. There's thunder over there. Just got to take it easy. Fatigue at the end of the day is when bad things happen. So. to Potts Creek All right. and right. destroying vehicles tomorrow. Get it out and come right over top of it, straighten it out, yeah. come forward. This way, and then same thing. Stack all this stuff. Up you want drive, do you want passenger down this? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, I we think tried, so. We tried to take Gabby a little bit take, over that rock there. Yeah, but you didn't get him no. much further than this, as opposed to maybe total wall ride. Not total wall ride, but on that riding down that. I, I'm not opposed to that line. But then there's going to be a big drop. See, because the way I'm looking at it right now, this is what it would be. Where these all where all these rocks are. He's gonna be on this. The front is gonna come down. Yeah. I don't uh, love riding yeah. this wall up here. Yeah. I don't love that. I mean, if you want to go super wide and like come really wide and get your driver into this, I I think. But I don't know if you'll get your rear that far over. No, I won't get the rear that far over in this quick time. Right there, passenger there, driver right here, and just try to ride straight down that way. Where do you want your driver tire? On the wall? This? Yeah, I think okay. like up here and then right down there. I think that's going to be the least resistant for you. Okay. You're going to start coming down. Little driver, right on, right on that line. How's the rear? Uh, All right, come real easy, John. Become a little bit driver. You're gonna start coming down, so be easy. Driver side looks good. We're good over here on passenger. Yeah, I think it's good. Back tire is going to be coming up on the rock now. Okay, you're up on the rock. Right on that line, line, John. Line. Just come down easy. Yeah, you got it. Nice job. Yeah, great job, man. Yeah. That was like flawless. Now you're going to slide down a little bit? Woo! We've been using the shit out of these max tracks today. Yeah. I think what I want to do is come up that way and try to I think you can swing it. Let me turn on. 
I thought I heard it when he was up on that rock up there. It didn't pop, but I thought the um, the struts were releasing pressure. And then I heard it just over here, and then I looked at it. Oh man. Doesn't sound yeah. like a thing. Right here or no? Let's just let's just any... try let's blast it real quick. Maybe I burped it. Let's just blast it real fast. Okay. It's it's low, Johnny. What's that? It's pretty low. Well, come for a little. Wait, hold on. I'm getting my air. I wouldn't I wouldn't spin it anymore. So he's got a flat tire. Um, we're gonna try to get some air in it real quick to see if we can get him maybe in a better position where we can change the tire. So we're gonna have to do a tire compare all the time that we just gained, get him down here in like a matter of minutes we're going to spend changing a tire, so. It's all right, that's just the way this thing works. Let's go really high and see if it'll seat. Line up the crowbar and yeah. use that to yep. concentrate the blow. Uh, no, no. Yeah, there you go. Keep your hand way down. No, yeah. I'll get a better. I'm gonna do it. I tell you what. I would just let it there. I would leave it there, dude. Yeah. If she's holding there, I would. We can change it. We can change your tire cam if you really want to. Okay. All right. We can probably bang it around a little harder if we need to. Okay. Have you ever done that before? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I have. Still so. Side. We're gonna run out of talent real quick. Uh, oh, we can do like this. Yeah, we need more. I think that's gonna do it. More driver. Go back a little. Stop. Cut it all the way, passenger. Yeah. So, stop. Stop. Have him turn yeah. and then back up again. You gotta get. Go. Okay. Yeah, that way. All the way, driver. Yep. There you go. Oh, you gotta keep on. Let me think about this. Hold on. Send it. No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> He's just got a little bit to climb here. You can try and spin it, left foot break it and spin it. Keep going, yeah, there yeah. you go. Yeah! Watch, oh, stop, oh, stop, oh. stop! Now we gotta take care of this one right here. Woo. Done this one? <laughs> we might have dinner tonight. Uh, oh, don't jinx us. Yeah, I'm working on some checks mix. How's that tire Nice. Yeah. yeah, he's all right. That was just enough. <laughs> I want to get as far over here as I can, and then we're going to come right this way. Right on. Okay. I like it. All right. I would fill in right to the to the right of that rock. Yeah. Okay. To the driver's side of it. Or and use. Or. Yeah. I would put driver tire here and just bridge it up where that's not going to hit your front hit or rear. Okay. And tilt the truck. You're going to go that high up. What? No, it's right no, here. No, 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 no. Here. It's right here. I was thinking driver there. You want a passenger walk or? Yeah. All right. Nice and easy. You're gonna come up on both. Yeah, 
ice center as I come down. I know. We'll, yeah, we'll watch. watch Just go straight and nice and easy. Hard cut. No, it's not. Back Come back a tad if you can. I think you're on your slider. Trying to get, get, get it moving. Yeah. No, I get this. Um. Yeah, let's just pull line and get it done. Yeah, that would be great. Unhook. That's a crash. Woo! <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Nice what job. Nice job. Team MSO right here. Give it straight. It's gonna come down. You're looking good so far. Keep going. You're good. You coming, driver? Come, driver? We're down on the skid a little bit. Can you back it up a little bit? Go ahead, go ahead. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Are you climbing? Okay, stop right there. Little driver. Are you stacking some tracks? All right, hold it. Right there, right there. You're gonna start coming down. Yep. Right there. I like it. Good path, man. I like it. Looking solid back here. No issues. Your bumper's clear. Nice. You're done. One more little drop. And you're off. Climb on the driver's side. Keep that going. 
close. Uh, no, he's on it. Back, 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 back. I don't think so, dude. No? No. Are you going to hit or what up? I think he's going to hit. He can go a little bit more. Do you want his wheel up on this? Right, there it is. Keep going. Watch his rear end right on this thing. He's going to get his rear. Hold on, stop. Alright. Can you get him? Not quite yet. Go a little high, like three more clicks. Yep. Can we try that? I do like it better than a highlight. Yeah, I feel 100% better. <laughs> okay. Fingers. You have to have fingers clear. Watch out, yeah. coming down. There's so far. Give it a little, give it a little. Keep going, keep going, move, move. Good, good, you're clear. All set. I do, I do. Can I grab that real quick? Thank you. Okay. Looking good. All right, we're gonna start coming. Keep it very straight. Very, Wait, uh, why? Why? What's up? Uh, it's okay. No, no it's okay. okay. That's fine. Because he's got to clear that rock. I got it. Okay. I got it. Well, I didn't know if we were going to No, no, no. We're looking good so far. <laughs> How's that slider? It's looking good. You're, you're, you're almost past the that... Uh, yeah, you're on your driver slider. Looking good. He's gonna scrape on that, but as, as he goes up, it should. Slider. It's a slider. Keep it coming, you're on it, but you're doing good. Nice. Alright, hold up. Hold up. Bam. Yeah. Watch that line. Pretty good. We did good. I think we're just uh, <laughs> being a little more methodical, planning ahead, taking the extra step so that we don't make costly mistakes. I think my parents told me that when I was like a teenager. <laughs> and it's finally working. I was going to say, and you're listening now. I'm going to tell Linda you said that. Help me see what I, I don't know what I'm popping up on here. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Yeehaw. So well, what's the situation? Uh, well, right now we're racing for light. Um, got three or four trucks through. You're good, uh, man. You're still each run's gotten a little easier or more manageable, like strategizing, like where to put things. Uh, but now it's getting kind of dark and we're working with uh, one of the lower trucks. So we'll get it done, but just got to take it easy. Fatigue at the end of the day is when bad things happen. So we just got to be smart. Come on down. Yeah, you're good. Cool.
more. Now straighten out. Good? Yeah, it really does. As far up here as I can. Yep. So I think I cleansed. Yeah, we, we get pretty good. We stay pretty good. We're going to go. We've got a good place for all this. How's it looking over there, John? Yeah, it looks good here. Good? You're on the rock. Looking good. And I'd stick to straighten him out because we got to get his wheel on that rock. I think he's going to straddle that rock. Okay, we're looking good. <laughs> you want me to get him straightened out and come right over top of it and straighten it out? Yeah. Come forward. I'm trying to nice and straight. Now a little more this way. You've got to have to cut now. That's fine. I like it. Just keep it cut that way. Pull forward. Stop. I'd be pressed to say that we may have bit off more than we can chew with this trail. I like yeah. that too. It's uh, okay. 9.20 right now. And we still have one truck to get through and we're not even at camp yet. So once we get ran over, we still have a little bit of ways to go. And Hold on. It's taken us about two hours per truck to go 300 feet. What you got going for us here, Gabs? We're making uh, we're making some burgers. They were a little thicker, but they got smashed. So now we're gonna have double cheeseburgers. <laughs> oh my god! And I'm making noodles. Yeah. Nothing but big bucks. That's all you're getting from me. Okay. Nudes. I'm making nudes. I was not terrified. I was you, pumped full of adrenaline the today. Oh, okay, yeah. So, um, how yeah. was it uh, finding camp tonight? Glorious, freaking glorious. We are camped be in this beautiful field. Every one of us are gonna have about 16 ticks on our ball sack in the morning. <laughs> so, ACT. <laughs> That's the warmest spot on your yeah. body, man. That basically sums up the rest of the night. Get me the hell home. <laughs> that was probably nine nine fifteen ish. Yeah. <laughs> First round of burgers. I want some. I'll do second round. Go ahead, I'll do second round. I'll do, yeah. 
It what was you... a solid day of off-roading. And the first day of off-roading in my new truck. <laughs> Pop your truck to cherry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I couldn't see where I was going. I was just following hands. <laughs> <laughs> and if I had cigarettes, I would have smoked a pack of them. <laughs> I'm still digesting my food, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm done. Shut his light off. Done. You can leave your light on. Uh, how did it feel? Yeah. I mean, there was a lot of mixed emotions. One was like, oh, you know, I'm going to make this. And then two minutes later, we see another obstacle. I'm not going to make it. At one point, I honestly <laughs> did think that I was going to be the one that just kept going. And then you guys were going to turn around and then we were going to meet up somewhere. But that didn't happen. All the trucks made it through and, you know, we're, we were in good shape. You know, we, we, we actually, the team took more falls than the trucks um, got hurt. So, you know, it was a, it was a good day of wheeling, man. I, I enjoyed it. Um, but as far as being the first truck, I, uh, I'm probably not going to trust you ever again in my <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> so at what point? At what point? Um, when we were actually on the trail to start, when you're like, "Is this all this is going to be?" Pretty much like right up until we got to that obstacle. <laughs> For like the first like three hours, I was like, "Oh, this is cool." Like. Cool, it's scenic. Miss Daisy. Beautiful. <laughs> and then all of a sudden it was like, doot, 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 doot. nope. <laughs> it's like, haha, -ha, tricked you. Seeing, you know, everybody work together to make that happen was really impressive. And at the end of the day, it was this amazing feeling of uh, accomplishment. And uh, we, it felt good to really earn our beers today. It was, it was impressive. Like, you definitely came to it and, like, I cut my teeth with, you know, wheeling and just coming up to this obstacle is just, yeah, as these guys were saying, it's just at first you're like, the rest of the day was pretty mellow with the trails being so dry and not muddy. But when we got to this, we're like, okay, this is, yeah, requires some attention. My Gabby drops in and I was probably, that was the first point I was like, all right, this is, could go sideways really fast. But yeah, teamwork as Ben was saying was clutch. It was, it was pretty epic. Do you think it could get harder tomorrow? I, I'm all right with it as long as there's daylight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Blindly driving a vehicle I'm not familiar with at night is pretty daunting. <laughs> Once you're in a truck for a long time, it's like an extension of your body. Yeah. Like, you can tell where you got to turn. Yeah. I never had a rear view camera or a rear view mirror and I could back it up. Like, you just kind of know. Yeah. But, yeah, driving a truck that's completely unfamiliar is very different yeah it'll it'll take some, it takes some a couple years too to like i'm fine like i've had the tacoma for two and a half and it's like this past year it finally felt like like all right i know exactly like where this yeah. truck needs to be and where it needs to go and how it needs to do it and like yeah it's kind of funny how like you know i'm sure you feel pretty comfortable in that oh thing. yeah you've yeah, had that no, for I mean, a while now yeah like, yeah i mean i feel like you know i could drive it just just about over anything except for today. <laughs> no, like, and then you know where your kit is. You oh, know yeah. your winch controller. Right. You know yeah, where everything is. extension. Yeah. Your you know you're with. You know where your yeah. wheels are the whole mm -hmm. time. And, you know, yeah. it's just, you know, it, it's definitely gotten not easier, but more familiar. Yeah. The more familiar you get with your truck. So, you know, yeah. I'm so going to start... ride that thing till the wheels fall off. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> which might be tomorrow. <laughs> Very well, might be tomorrow. That's not out of breath. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm I'm looking forward to tomorrow. And like I said, only thing that matters to me is that we have some fun on the trail. Continue to like go down the path with no breakage. Get all these expensive trucks through the woods, and then freaking camp next to a river or a lake that I can take a bath. <laughs> And uh, rinse off, so if we can get out of here and get to an awesome camp spot tomorrow with some water, I'll be psyched. We're on the Potts Mountain Jeep Trail, Virginia's last great Jeep Trail. Had a pretty epic day yesterday. Got really sweaty, really dirty. No creeks to swim in, that was the message of the evening at camp. <laughs> Six hours it took us to move the trucks through. 
sure we could have motored through, gotten hung up and broke something, but you know, we've got equipment that'll allow us to navigate this stuff safely and the max tracks came in so, so useful. Our winches and our protection equipment, our sliders. Um, we used the ARB jack like crazy, right? I mean, we, we used the jack, it was very useful. We used it in three different situations to actually elevate the frame of the vehicle. You know, we purpose, we purpose built these rigs and we use everything we have on them because we want to use this stuff and uh, and make a reason for it, make a case for it. So it's been an adventure and we still got still got half a day or what could end up being maybe a full day left. It will be actually. I think it's gonna be just as technical, but we should motor on through pretty good. It's beautiful up here on the mountain. Nice breeze this morning and uh, we've had our coffee, we're packed up and we're ready to go. So uh, what's uh, what you all working on right now? Um. Yeah, be easy. If you feel like you need a spotter, let us know. Just uh. We'll try to break anything here. We got no, this is the trail like about it. in a tightly or a more uh, technical section here. So we're just trying to decide which way we're going to send the trucks through. Like that section is right there is going to be the, the crux. We're right, just getting into this, but after there, it doesn't look too bad. Looks pretty good. This is going to be interesting. Down this would be plausible. There, like, but I yeah. damage right there all day long. Well, I mean that's diff belly. If you do get up, and then. This is belly drive shaft tilt into into the tree. It's amazing how many times this poor tree has been banged up and beaten, but still alive. <laughs> We've hit this second obstacle here on the trail, and uh, the guys are back in the truck. We've already been up here to take a look at it, and I think we brought some pickups to Jeep fight here. We're not going to risk it. We've got limited time for this trip. Um, in order to conquer as much as we can on this Jeep trail, I think what we're gonna have to do is take it back to the road and uh, come in from the backside. My son and I have traveled the top half of the Potts Mountain Jeep Trail and um, we're gonna take a look at the overlook. We're gonna take you on our adventure back out of the trail. Um, so yeah, like I said, I mean, this is, this is some pretty gnarly shit, right? And uh, this is the last great Jeep trail in Virginia. And uh, we're just not willing to subject the vehicles to total destruction because these are our daily drivers. Maybe we'll come back and we'll do it again. Well, we got a couple options for camp tonight and um, we're I think we're in Craig County right now. We're on the border of Craig County and Allegheny County in Virginia. We have access to some private property on Lake Moomaw. If I'm accurate here, I might be a little bit off, but I, Lake Moomaw is like 37 miles of lakefront. There is one private property on Lake Moomaw that has deeded access rights to the lake itself. Um, we've been invited to go out and explore their property and take a dip in the river and maybe take the drone up and show you a little bit about Lake Moomaw. 
So we'll show you here on the Overlander where we're at. Right now this is a wireless camera that we've got mounted to the front of the vehicle and it's kind of giving me a view. So when I'm in reverse I can see the display underneath but I can watch where I'm going here. The trail's a little less technical right now so I really don't need this. So I'm going to go out of here, go back out, I'm going to go to my map and uh, find where we're at right here which is just at the end of Poss Mountain Jeep Trail and we're going to actually be navigating to uh, Lake Muma here. All right, this is this flag is the access point um, through a national forest campground to their private property, and we'll be uh, we'll be swimming and exploring and maybe fishing right there. swim <laughs> we're done I'm tired I'm happy and look at that one two three four nobody's broken I'm already deflated from this trip <laughs> oh, we're already no, deflated for this trip so now we're gonna get everybody inflated we're gonna motor on into Allegheny County show you guys Lake Muma a little bit of gravel roads and some swimming this afternoon so I don't know I mean it's been an amazing trip, like John said. Everybody's kind of come out with a couple scratches and scrapes, but spirits are high. We felt like we did something. <laughs> felt like we worked our asses off. It was unfortunate we couldn't have done uh, that that obstacle right there in the middle of the trail right after camp this morning. But you know, like I said earlier, it's it's one of those things that where you got to make a decision on what you want to do to your vehicle, just to say that you did it. But we're here to show you guys that this Jeep trail is the last great Jeep trail in Virginia. <laughs> and uh, you should come and explore it sometime. Just make sure you've got somebody with you to spot you. We had a lot of people with us and a lot of, a lot of gear and equipment to use to help us navigate this. So um, let's motor on. What do you think, Gabby? I'm ready to get in body water, man. Yeah. I'm tired of smelling myself. You ready to get your body in water? Yeah. Your body in a body of water? I mean, I, I guess. Yeah. That's what you want to call it. Bodies and bodies, man. Bodies and bodies. All right, let's get inflated. Let's do it. We got the bed slide pulled out. We're getting bagels out. We're starving. It's lunchtime. Figured if we just knocked it out now, we could just motor on, get to the lake. Yeah, we've carried a lot of cold storage space on this trip, and uh, we still got a ton of food left to eat. Good. We got a lot of I'm food. hungry. We have a big feast tonight. Mm -hmm. 
that'll, that'll be fine in the air. We're, we're fixing uh, Jacob's truck. These are the parts we picked up off of the Jeep trail. Um, and we figured since Jacob was such a good host that we leave him a little present. I think I owe him. I think you guys heard those stories, right? So. You think it'll stick? I do. Oh, that looks so good. So you know what's funny is like, my wife watches a lot of like Bachelor and Bachelorette and they always say, journey. It's been an amazing journey. Mm. It's been an epic journey. What, what would Mountain State everyone say most frequently in the same context? I mean, it's been a wild adventure. It's been an epic adventure. It has been an epic adventure, yeah. You think epic's our word? I think epic is right up there, yeah. yeah. Epic or... Gabby enjoys Send It. Send It's a good one, yeah. yeah. No, there was something, wasn't there? There was a guy that came up to us at VOR. Or no, maybe it was at um, in Utah or in Arizona at um, Expo West that was like, you always say that thing. And I, I forget what the thing was. Oh yeah, you. Yeah, yeah what is it? I don't remember. Maybe the people watching right now know what it is. Yeah, I saw, I've said point, a lot of the last, Jeep, last, uh, last great Jeep trail on this show. You have said that a lot. I've said that a lot. But again, we are waiting on Gabby. Gabby's the last one to wake up every day. Gabby's the last one to leave the gas station every time. Gabby's the last one to take a poop every time. But you know what? If we didn't have Gabby, it just wouldn't be the same. That's true. What do you think about people who put mayonnaise on their french fries? That's sacrilege. Yeah. Like a Although I here's here's the one the one thing about that mayonnaise and ketchup is actually really good. It kicks together, yeah. But yeah, mayonnaise on a roast beef three way, you know the deal, huh? A yeah. <laughs> roast beef three way. <laughs> oh god, here we go. Okay, let's slow. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Okay. <laughs> Did we just do that on video? Yes, I think we did. <laughs> okay, um, turn left here. Okay, so we just came off of uh, Dolly Ann Drive here in Covington, Virginia. Uh, this is my hometown, and uh, it's good to have you guys finally down here after six years of adventure. But uh, we're going to be hitting Sand Spring uh, Road, kind of exploring some of the areas and gravel that I used to explore as a kid. But then we're going to be going into Bath County and hitting Lake Moomaw. Are you guys excited to go swimming? I think we've earned that. I think everybody's really excited about the water this afternoon, but this is gonna be a pretty special place that we're gonna be at tonight. That's it. Stop, stop, stop. You just drove by. Turn right there. Well, you should have told me. Yeah, so we're now pulling on Sand Spring Road. Oh my God. <laughs> what is happening right now? Gabby's had two Red Bulls right now. <laughs> I'm seeing sounds. It's scaring me. <laughs> Double flipping Red Bull. <laughs> He had Red Bulls and some like, <laughs> like chocolate covered pretzels. <laughs> I don't even know how that even pairs well together. <laughs> property owner like a week ago and we set a combination lock on the gate but our lock now is not ch uh, tied into the chain and fortunately we have the overlander in our in reach we can communicate with them but we're trying to get the team in here so we can camp tonight um, it's an amazing spot but I don't know what we're gonna do if we can't get in there They're all those but this is the one we need and it's not tied in. Um, we were able to actually contact the property owners, Teresa um, and Rusty, and within a matter of minutes, we have a combination to a backup lock that was on there. Um, this is an Airbnb destination, um, and they've got a couple cabins. We're gonna tour you around some of the perimeters of those sites and show you what Lake Mumalo really looks like, but for now, Let's get in this gate and go swimming.
We are here and it is time to go swimming in our own slice of heaven. Um, the guys are dirty, I am dirty, and I'm thirsty. We're gonna have a good time tonight. <laughs> this is probably the most picturesque, iconic place that we've ever um, one swam. Goodbye. And we're gonna be camping in tonight. Oh, dude. Cheers. Cheers, guys. So Cheers, Safety first. Let me grab the last life jacket. I think they need an emergency beer. Come on. We gotta get. So we have butter and venison, right? So we're cooking right now, and I'm going to take this hunk of butter, and I'm going to put it over here on the scuttle. Just like so. It's going to take a long time for this to cook, but it's going to be really good. I'm going to cook it. I'm going to slice it. I'm going to dice it. We're going to put it on a pizza. We're going to cook this first. It's going to take a little bit. How's okay, we gotta slightly cook the pepperonis just a little bit. Just to get them to fry a little bit. Because it's a scottle and we need to cook the pizza really evenly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pre-cook a little pepperonis. You should do a lot of them really. Yeah. Venison on the pizza. So the key here is to rotate them. Oh good. We have a quesarito. <laughs> In the year 2030. This is yours, Ren? What you, what you making? I'm making a bad choice. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Jason Perpetuated is... by other bad choices. <laughs> Dude, how's the venison on the pizza? Yeah, it's amazing. That looks really good. It's just folded in <laughs> It's hot. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Kind of the original vision for this trip was to showcase the last great Jeep trail in Virginia, right? Well, yes. That that was the <laughs> premise, but I, I would say we may have bit off a little bit more than we can chew. I mean, starting in boats was fun. I really liked being in rafts. It was, uh, you know, different from something that we've done before. It was nice. It was nice to do something where we were able to sort of branch out from what we normally do and spend some time in rafts and sort of experience a different style of travel than what we normally subscribe to. You know, relaxing and hanging out in the river and sitting in a life jacket drinking beer doesn't suck either. I would say it's probably the hardest public trail I've ever seen. Like, south of like Moab. <laughs> like, it's, you know, you don't see that kind of stuff on the East Coast, unless you're on like private property or something pretty intense. Um, it's pretty cool. I think the biggest thing for me was, like I've lived in a camper for the last like year and a half and um, packing for a trip where I'm depending on certain things that are typically accessible to me. You know, I forced my life into just a couple, um, you know, boxes in the back of the truck. I mean, we packed heavy for cold gear, right? Because yeah. we like to drink beer. I mean, that's part of what we do, but we got to carry the equipment we need. You know, we had a jack, we had max tracks, we had, you know, recovery equipment, and we used all of it. Before it was overlanding, it was off-roading and wheeling. You know, and uh, I think, um, you know, it was pretty fun to like take all those tools I've used over the past 20 years and like learned and, and apply them to that, you know, to yesterday. Like 20 years ago, we didn't have max tracks. Like we didn't have like, true, we, right? we just had like gloves and we had rocks. And like, it's pretty cool that we have all these tools available to like help, you know, accomplish the mission mm -hmm. and get it done, you know, without damage doing that trail at night like <laughs> completely guided by hand signals was a total like uh learning experience for me like i've never 
done that kind of technical <laughs> off-road at night. And it was nice knowing, like, who your spotters are, trusting who has your back, and knowing, like, you're going to get out of that situation, even when it's thunderstorms <laughs> and <laughs> total blackness. Like, it's nice. It's a good feeling. Like, it's a cool group of dudes to hang out with, and you know it's not, like, going to be a train wreck. You know those guys know what they're doing. I mean, I've, I've looked forward to these trips every year that's you know it's kind of a big part of what I plan for in my year and I'll, I'll turn down work to come do this so it's kind of like become a part of who I am and I, I've really enjoyed the, the time I've spent with you guys as far as the challenges go um, when you came to a section where it was maybe something that you had to do one vehicle at a time uh, if you could apply what you learned from the first vehicle to the rest of the vehicles and keep building, and it really helped to expedite the process for the next guy. Unfortunately, the first guy going through was kind of the, uh, <laughs> the sacrificial lamb, uh, guinea pig, what have you. Uh, they got the shit end of the stick most of the time, but we did all our learning from their valiant efforts. It's a trade-off. I mean, you have trail before it's rutted out if you're in wet environment, but you'll have learning curve. And learning curve could be swift or it could be slow. Yeah. <laughs> and when you're doing stuff that is above what you should be doing with vehicles, it's a little on the slower side. Overall, it was fun. It was good teamwork. Yeah. Enjoyed it. We did it. We did it in a real short burst of, you know, three or four days here, and uh, we're done. Let's drink some beer and have fun. Nothing but big bucks. Nothing but big bucks. Nothing but big bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to that, guys. Solid. Solid adventure. Oh, shit. Where's my beer? Let's cut. So, why did you trade your Mountain City Airborne hat for a sausage hat? Because Jacob, the owner of Merry Go Round Farms, who we stayed, whose house we stayed at, or farm we stayed at, um, tasked me with wearing his sausage hat throughout the entire trip, and I think I fulfilled my obligation to him. Are you going to continue to wear it? I am always going to continue to wear it because when people ask me why I'm wearing a sausage hat, I'm going to tell them because I like sausage. <laughs> And I have a very good friend of mine who owns Merry Go Round Farms, which is also a wedding venue. I'm not plugging anything <laughs> by request. <laughs> and also, a, and also a pig farm, which is, and the sausage is sold at the Covington Farmers Market on Sundays from 8 to 11 a.m. Hashtag only big bucks. Hashtag nothing but big bucks. <laughs> if it whips around a lot, I can't even see John. He's disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> I love that camo pack. He disappeared into 1970. <laughs>